going to make you a quick and dirty antenna test on the SW house on these Baofeng antennas. So the first antenna we have the UV82 which is 70 centimeters and 2 meters. Then we got a UV82T which is a tri-band radio. So that has uh, 70 centimeters and 2 meters on one antenna. That's this one. That one I think is totally identical to this antenna here. And then it has a dedicated 1.21 meter antenna. And you can tell that apart from the color. That helps a lot. And then in there is also the frequency written in it. You probably can't see that on the camera. The next set here we have another tri-bander, a UVS9+. Plus. Uh, those antennas are a little bit different. Uh, it, that's the 70 centimeters and 2 meter antenna. It's definitely different. A little bit shorter if you compare it to the UV82s. And the 1.1 1, 1 1, sorry, the 1.21 meter antenna, the 220 megahertz, uh, is also, it looks the same, it has a different color, I know there it's yellow instead of red, so it might just be the identical, with a different color, or it might be a little bit different, who knows. I also got an uh, aftermarket antenna, the Elzeng NA320A. That antenna is a single antenna, fairly long web here, and it does uh, 70 centimeters, 1.21 meters, and 2 meters. So the setup that we're going to use is right here, we use the rig exploit to measure the SWR. Um, I have a BNC connector at the end, so I have here an adapter that I can screw in the <clears throat> antennas. Uh, this here is a call, but really what we're using it for is just some um, um, metal housing that represents the radio to give the counterpoise for the antennas. So I just kind of wrap that loosely around it. It's going to be crappy and makes probably a, a better real life test here. So let me attach the first antenna. Okay, so we attached the uh, UV82 antenna to it. So we're going to test now the 70 centimeters and 2 meters. So let's go ahead and choose 70 first. And run. So looking at that chart, it's between uh, 1.2 and 2 in SWR. So let me just write that down here yeah, so I don't forget that. We can do a comparison. So it's 1.222. And the next thing we do is 2 meters. So here we have definitely 2.5 the high and the low is, mm, eh, I just say give it 1.3 there. Not awesome. Just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and do the 1.25. Yeah, I wrote it down everywhere wrong. That's okay. 1.25 meters. And yep, there we are totally in the bad. So it's definitely not usable. So that would be a good choice. So the next thing is the UV82T. 
let's start again off with the 70 centimeters and 2 meters. I think we're going to get exactly the same measurements, but that can also test our setup. So let me swap the antennas. And the antennas are swapped. So the UV82T. Let's go ahead and just do the 1.25 scan again. And we are expecting there you know, the same crappiness. And it is. Okay, so let's go to 70 centimeters. So last time we had 1.2 to 2. And here we have surprisingly a nice dip down there. 1.1 even and two is still high so let's write that down uh 1.122 1 right there and then go to the two meters here we have three going down to 1 1.5 1 1.5 to 3 so that one is actually significantly worse and I have my hand in the camera here so that's not so great so what do we say 1.5 to 3 1.5 to 3 so there's a decent variance that's like 0.5 SWR of 0.5 not so great Let's skip that one over and just go to the 70 centimeters and 2 meters of the UV S9 Plus to compare. So let me change the setup. And it's changed. So we have the 70 centimeters and 2 meter antenna installed. And let's go ahead and run the scans. So let's go ahead and run the 70 centimeter scan first. And holy moly, that is definitely not good. Let's go ahead and run the two meter scan. Uh, do I have the wrong antenna on there? Let's double check that. So we run the 1.25. And see if that one is in range. Maybe I was saying the wrong antenna here. Um, this antenna is garbage. <laughs> that antenna is just pure, pure garbage. Let me remove it. So right here is the antenna. Not sure if you can read that. If I read it, it's FM 136 to 174 and 400 to 520 megahertz. So if we compare that with the other ones that we checked, uh, it's FM 136 to 174, 400 to 520 megahertz. So they have the same written on it. Okay, pure, pure garbage. So I would just put there, I would consider that infinite. That's not a antenna I would be using. Wow, that was extremely surprising. Let's go ahead and test uh, 1.25. Let's correct this here. Antenna. Let me install that and run the SWR on it. Okay, the antenna is installed. So that was for the UV82T. And we'll go over here and choose the band. Let's take three for 1.25 and run the scan. And garbage. Be 
can go ahead and run 70 centimeters as, and 2 meters as well. It's not gonna be pretty, I'm sure. And 2 meters. That antenna is just pure garbage too, apparently. Let me do one more thing here. These antennas, we know the measurements. Let me just go ahead and put that in just to make sure that there's nothing gone wrong on that setup. So I put the 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna again from the UV2082 uh, in. Actually from the 82T. They're just identical. So let's just go ahead and run. So we are right now in the 2 meter range. Let's go ahead and run this. And last time we got 1.5 low and a 3 high. And that's exactly what we are getting here as well. So our setup is fine. We verified that this 22 megahertz antenna sucks. Uh, written on there is, when do we start? 220 to 260 megahertz. And it's written twice on there. So that antenna is garbage. Let me go ahead and install this 1.25 meter antenna in here as well and see if that one is surprisingly better. Okay, I installed the 1.25 meter antenna, 22 megahertz from the UVS9 Plus. That looked like exactly the same antenna as the other one but with a little of hope maybe we have something halfway decent and we're doing the scan over the 1.25 meter band and it looks yeah for shits and giggles the other ones Yep, and the two meters finally. So 70 centimeters on two meter, we obviously did not expect good outcome, but it's supposed to be a 1.25 meter antenna, which it is not. So if you buy the UVS, UVS9 plus, you pretty much don't have any good antennas. Let's see if this aftermarket antenna is gonna be our solution. So this one should be doing all of the bands with one antenna, which would be really, really awesome. So if you can get anywhere close to the UV82 70 centimeters and two meter antenna range, so SWR of 1.5 to 2.5, that would be pretty good. Three might be okay compared to some of the other antennas we saw. So let me go ahead and install that one. Okay, we have here the long web installed. Same setup, still uh, leaning basically. I mean, if you have a whole hand held in your hand, it's not gonna be great anyway. So that's the LZANG NA328 tri-band antenna. Let's go ahead and start off with 70 centimeters and see where we're gonna go. Wow, that's already a good start here. Uh, creeping a little bit up, but still, uh, okay. Not too bad. Um, what do we say here? 2.5, definitely the highest 2.5 and the lowest uh, 1.3, so let's say that. 2.5, 1.3. So 1.3 to 2.5. So if you compare that 70 centimeters with ones that work, right here we have 1.1 to 2, 1.2 to 2. Yeah, pretty decent, I think. 
Let's go ahead and go the 1.25 meters. Whoa, that is awesome. That is definitely a good 1.25 meter antenna. Definitely. I mean, the highest 1.2 and the lowest 1.1 if you're really negative. So 1.1 to 1. Point, what two did we say? Yep, 1.2. This is awesome. Let's go ahead and test out two meters. So here we are. Ooh, it's starting high up. Ooh, not so great. So two meters is, I would say, an SWR of the period. So let's go ahead and give it a three. That's not so great. But better than this here for sure. So right here on the UV82 we have 1.5 to 3 and on the other one we had 1.3 to 2.5. So overall really that antenna turned out not bad. The UV S9 antennas pure pure garbage the same with the 1.25 meter antenna for 220 garbage you buy the plain old uv82 you get some decent antennas there well i hope that helps you or it was interesting or at least somewhat entertaining see you next time